Stablo pen versus a Sharpie for drawing on your needle felted sculptures. Is this going to work? Are they worth it? Let's find out. Hey, I'm Pam Duthie and I'm here to help you craft your career with creative marketing and artistic inspiration. Every Wednesday we do a crafty review or technique specifically to help you with your needle felting. So if this is something you're interested in, don't forget, subscribe and come back every Wednesday. So have you tried drawing on your felt sculptures? What pens do you prefer? Have you found any problems with this? Just let me know in the comments below what you think of this as a technique. So I was asked a couple of weeks ago if I'd tried this Stablo pen. Apparently it's a smudge proof pen and people are raving about it and saying it works really well on sculptures. So I thought we'd better give it a review and see if it's any good and compare it to my good old Sharpie because I've tried Sharpies in a variety of projects so we just wanna find out is one better than the other? What are the drawbacks? Are they worth getting? So let's find out. So we're gonna again pick on my poor little dog head that we've been demonstrating on. If you haven't already seen, check out the videos in the cards up above where we've tried coloring him in with chalks and also uh, where we used him as an example of how to reduce the size of felt ears. And now let's see how the pens work on his wee face. So we'll start off with a base line. Now, I've heard people use Sharpies to colour in the lips of the mouth or the eyelids. Now, we already did his eyelids and I'll use the Sharpie on the side that I used the chalks last week and the Stablo pen on the other side. Now, we've already coloured in his eyelids, but it's worth trying to see if we can get any better. So just diving in with the Sharpie. And now, got to be careful here with the glass because it will colour the glass. But sketching around the eyes, if you can see him, it is definitely drawing reasonably well. Let's give him a little, I don't know what you'd call that, a cat's eye down there, and up around here. Yep, yeah, that's given a fairly reasonable line. There's a little bit of bleed onto, there's a little bit of bleed onto some of the other fibers, but overall it's not bad. Um, I'm not gonna try and smudge it yet. We'll let it dry, we'll be fair. And let's try his wee lips. So starting from the center and curving down. Normally I would felt this with a tiny line of fleece. But well, certainly that's much quicker. So, Sharpie approved for sure. Let's try the Stablo. That is pronounced, that is how you pronounce it. Let me know if I'm sounding like more of an idiot than usual, but I'm gonna call it a stablo. So let's jump onto his eye. This already I'm seeing, because it's a much finer point, which isn't a fair comparison, but I was told to go for the fine point. Because it's finer, it's almost, it's stabbing into the wool and it's having a good bit of trouble. But it's certainly putting in a nice crisp line. Maybe a dotting technique. Ah, yes, that seems to work. Dotting rather than trying to draw a line. So, as it's a finer pen, it seems to have a finer line and it's a lovely black line, but it's digging into the fibers a bit more, so I just need a slightly different technique. Now, it seems already before I start on the next bit, I don't know if you can see that on the other side of the mouth, it seems we've got some smudging possibly already, or some bleeding has come over from the Sharpie, which is not good, but let's try the Stablo on the mouth. It seems to be taking a lot longer to get any colour onto it. 
but it's certainly working. But more a kind of dabbing technique is working better than trying to draw an entire line. I have done that slightly, slightly very unbalanced. It looks like he's got a crazy sneer, but this is just for demonstration. He looks crazy enough already. Now let's try some doodles. Let's pretend, let's pretend he's got some swirls on his ear like no dog ever has. Again, dabbing technique. and ask me why I'm picking these shapes. This is just very random. It definitely gets hooked up in the fibers because it's about the size of a needle. It disappears into the fibers so you can't draw a smooth line, you have to dab. Kind of, but you can see how it catches on the fibers. He's got his war paint on and let's try something similar on the Sharpie side. The point of the Sharpie is kind of getting caught up a little bit as well, so dabbing for longer distances works better. Any stray hairs are just being a nightmare as expected. But it is easier to draw a straight line. Stablo side, Sharpie side. And let's do the smudge test over the eyes, giving them a good rub. This is the Sharpie side. Oh, wow. That has come off on my fingers quite a lot. I'm going to have to use different fingers now. Um, And that's had a wee minute to dry. So, so, um, yeah, Sharpie side is definitely, so yeah, Sharpie side is definitely smudging. Let's try Stablo side. Have to use a different hand. So there is some black coming off on my fingers. So compare and contrast. Sharpie, Stablo, 
Sharpie stab blue. So I think, so I think very much there's more ink come off on my fingers on the Sharpie side than the stab blue, but also it seems there was more ink, but also it seems there was more ink actually went on to the sculpture. Uh, the Stablo, the Stablo gives a finer line, slightly less densely coloured, slightly less pigmented than the Sharpie, um, is okay to control if you use a dabbing motion. The Sharpie is a little bit easier to do firm straight lines and is a nice dense colour, but none of them are bleeding through the fibres as much as I'd expected. Um, and yeah, they both seem to do their job. So yeah, if you're wanting a fine line on your sculptures and you don't want to felt in individual fibers, then Stablo or a Sharpie, you decide. Which do you think's the winner here? Okay, so thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget, click on my wee face to subscribe, check out the other videos that YouTube wants you to watch and come back every Wednesday. Thank you so much.